morning everybody once again we are back to our class we have been energetically studying about our agriculture we have continuously keeping an eye on our country where the states are being located in which states what which crop grows what are the geographical conditions required for the growth of that particular crop we have already be we have already studied about rabi kharif zaid then we have studied about wheat rice maize millets that is jowar bajra ragi pulses arhar moong masoor tuwar then we these were the food crops after that food crops we studied about the other food crops that is sugar cane it is the india is the largest producer of sorry second largest producer of sugar cane brazil is the first producer in the world we get sh sugar we get gourd jaggery khansari molasses from sugar cane it is grown in uttar pradesh maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu then we studied about the oil seeds and we india is holding the first position in terms of productions in oil oil seeds that is groundnut castor se sesame soybean linseed these crops they are both first like we can say that groundnut is a kharif crop but when we talk about castor or we talk about sesame they are both grown in rabi and kharif crops now we are going to deal with another crop as you can see in the map what do you what do you see you see tea and coffee right got the map which states are located in which direction so already printed out observe it nicely so right on top where you can see himachal pradesh it is t uttarakhand t moving towards east direction assam side west bengal side you find t when you come at the bottom south india so in andhra pradesh there are some andhra pradesh tamil nadu and kerala you find some places where t is grown the other is coffee karnataka tamil nadu again kerala means at the border where you find the nilgiri hills okay so there should be again not much confusion because tea and coffee is grown in a very limited area so just learning by two or three of them you can get the perfection okay from where you get so directly once by observing tea tea is obtained in himachal pradesh uttarakhand assam west bengal when it talk about coffee the coffee is grown in south india so let's start with tea now after having looking at the map you got to prepare these maps also when exams you can get one mark for pointing out or placing the things at a correct place says t is the main beverage crop india is a leading producer 
and exporter of tea in the world so you can say whenever you get up early in the morning there are people who would, would like to drink milk but maximum they ask for tea because it gives them energy it's wake them up assam hills of darjeeling darjeeling and jal paiguri district of west bengal tamil nadu and kerala are the major tea producing areas or states so by looking at the maps when you saw in the first you know where is assam you have seen west bengal then the eastern side of india so they are the leading and then you come to the south that is the karnataka tamil nadu and kerala you have seen it in the himachal pradesh and uttarakhand also but the production is less it is also cultivated in himachal pradesh उत्तराखंड मेघालय आंध्र प्रदेश एंड त्रिपुरा दिस वन ऑफ द स्टेट इन द ईस्ट व्हिच कम्स अंडर द ग्रुप ऑफ स्टेट्स नोन एज seven sisters tea plant grows well in tropical and sub tropical climate so here you get the climatic conditions so tropical tropics means you can consider it as uh, west uh, bengal is lies in tropic of cancer the soil requires ment is deep fertile well drained soil which is rich in humus and organic matters t 
T thrives well, thrives you can say means it grows well, already very first T plant grows well in tropical and here it is again mentioned in tropical or subtropical means tropic area is means between equator and tropic of cancer or tropic of capricorn here the temperature is hot known as torrid zone well in hot and humid climate idle temperature for its growth is 20 degree centigrade to 30 degree centigrade and an annual rainfall of 150 to 300 centimeter of rainfall so if you have so much of rainfall the tea grows quite well high humidity and frequent frequent showers shower here means rainfall evenly distributed this tree Buted throughout throughout the year are good for the rapid development development of tender leaves so the, there are bushes mostly you'll if you see the plucking of the leaves of tea are mostly done by either small children or women tea bushes Tea bushes thrive well in moist and warm frost free climate. If there is frost, then there will be some damage to the leaves. Through all through the year. T is labor. T is labor intensive crop which requires abundant abundant means plenty lot of abundant cheap and skilled labor as 
टी इज प्रोसेस्ड विद इन द टी एस्टेट्स विच एवर वर्क यू से विच एवर क्रॉप यू से वेर वी हैव टू डू लेबर वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ द प्लांट टू गिव अस अ बेटर प्रोडक्शन टी इज प्रोसेस्ड within the t estates to restore its freshness t cultivation t cultivation is an example of plantation crop plant plantation crop or agri culture and was it was introduced intro Produced initially in a shelly by British. So before the coming of Britishers, when you look at the King Harshwardhan or Ashoka. There is no mentionation of tea. The people used to drink tea, but after or when these Britishers came, they introduced it, and from that time, we are addicted to this beverage. The present day, present. day plantation plantation are owned by indians because we have fought against the britishers we drove them away in 1947 they left india whatever the property they had i they have sold it and those those who got people of india have purchased it and are now maintaining the plantation agriculture in india 